Hey guys, it's Jenny, and I am here with you today to share how I planned this week in my classic happy planner. There's a look at last week. It's cheerful, colorful, spooky, all in the season for Halloween. And I am very excited to continue sort of the same color palette and idea using these stickers from Sticker Bloom on Etsy. I absolutely loved this artwork when I saw it, and her prices are so good. So I often purchase from her because I love good art and low prices, right? I have pulled out the page from my Happy Planner so that I have a nice, solid working surface, and I am using post-it notes to, or sticky notes, to pre-plan. So when I have an appointment or something like that, I just use the sticky note to add the details, like a doctor's appointment or something like that, to the planner page before I decorate. It really helps a lot and it helps me keep track of things in the future without having to write them on the planner pages. I also allow myself to use whatever handwriting so that I can practice all types of different things on these sticky notes that just get thrown away. As you can see, I used one of the half boxes to notate an appointment and then I also used that really cute little flower, cloud, not flower, from Planner Junkie. I thought it was a really, really cute way to be able to add, like in this case, a time, but you could really add all kinds of different details to there. I'm also adding stamping this week. You know I love the stamps, including this one, which is one of my favorites. It's from Sweet Stamp Shop, that just really basic little box, but it really just packs a punch. You can do all of the things using that one. I've added the tiniest bit of decor with those cute little jack-o'-lanterns also from Sweet Stamp Shop. I just think that they are super cute and actually, to be truthful, I love that they're really very small so I can add something really decorative and whimsical in that small little space. Now I am going to put a full box right there and then layer on top of it another full box for a little decorative cluster. Now, one of the things that is going on here is that for Tuesday, I really only have one thing that I have planned, so I don't need to leave a ton of extra room for activities. Now, for my to-do list, I'm using a ghost from Sweet Stamp Shop, and it really comes in three ghosts, just like those jack-o'-lanterns. However, I'm only putting ink on the one on the edge, so then I can just use that as one instead of three or four, however many are included. And it really just, I love that as a little checklist right down there. Now you can see I also layered on top of the two decorative stickers on Tuesday, a half box so I can write the activity that I have. And I think that is just a really awesome way to add decoration and then yet not have it be standing alone. And so you can bring that entire cluster right together. Now you can see I added another little cloud, but I decided not to go with that one because, well, I didn't need it. I, I thought I had more information than I actually did, but no matter, I just pull it right off and put it back on the original sheet and I will use that in the future and no matter. This is the sports set that I have shared with you before from Studio Calico, and I am going to take the tennis slash baseball stamp. If you're new here, I use a tennis stamp because I don't have a baseball stamp, and it doesn't matter to me. I'm using the gray Versafine on the little baseball, and you can see I've just stamped it right there. And then I'm going to take the word game from the same stamp set and use my black Versafine and layer it on top of it. I'm really actually pretty much obsessed. I kind of love it. Like I think this is something I'm gonna do more of going forward. It really just gives the whole thing more dimension, and I also feel like it makes it feel a little bit more polished as well which is really cool, right? And truth be told, I like it, and that's all that really matters. So I'm pulling out this stamp set from Scraptastic Club, and they have a teeny tiny little icon of a telephone. I forgot to add a little conference call that I have on Wednesday morning, and so I wanted to add that in that tiny little space at the top. And so that perfect little phone just fit in that space, and I am very excited about that. Now let's move on to the second half of the week. As you can see, it's definitely nowhere near as full as the first half of the week. Now also for my decorating for the half, the second half, I'm going to use the same stickers. However, 
I'm now going to try and use ones that are not specifically Halloween themed because we've moved into November and we've left Halloween behind. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to go with an entirely different theme. It just means that, okay, so now I'm aware that Halloween is over and I will use the same set and the same color palette, but I'm going to leave the overly Halloween items over in the left hand. Now these are some adorable little like dentist orthodontist type stickers from Little Red Prince on Etsy. I don't think she has these anymore. These are seriously like two years old, but I can't even get enough. They're so adorable. So my bad for using something that I can't even point you to, but they are really cute, aren't they? Now I'm layering yet another half box sticker and pulling it together with those two decorative stickers that I had right there. And another thing I want to mention is that I typically am a little bit more sparing with my use of stickers. I don't go overboard because A, I prefer a simple look, but B, I am also aware of, okay, so if I spend $3 a sheet on stickers, I don't want to just go overboard and use all of them. I like to stretch them. And so I wouldn't normally do that. However, because this is a seasonal kit, I don't really necessarily want this hanging around until next year. Next year, there'll be more stickers that I want to use. So I want to try to use this up. Now, I was going to use my hexagon punch and punch some hexagons. However, newsflash, the punch was too big and I wasn't able to make it work. But it doesn't even matter because I'm going to just go ahead and use the entire strip because it's so stinking cute and I really like it and not use little hexagons in the lower corner. I'll do it again in the future, the hexagons that is, but this time the whole strip is just going to have to do. Now I'm pulling back out that really adorable washi from Simply Gilded. I love it and I told you when I first got it that you'd be seeing a lot of it because it's just so cute and I wanted to make sure that I used it since I mean you know I paid good money for that washi. I want to use it up. I know a lot of people like to hoard their washi. I do not. I like to actually use it. So because I've got a whole roll, I'm going to put it down. Now, you know me, I'm really not a huge washi user to begin with, but I actually really like the way that this looks because I like how I skipped Wednesday. So I feel like it ties both pages together with that little tiny strip on Tuesday and then the rest of the week as well. Now, I'm also going to add those cute little ghosts on Thursday. Those are the ones that I used for the checklist on Tuesday. Now, remember I said I wasn't going to go crazy with decorative Halloween things the rest of the week. However, I had that strip of the ghost stickers from the kit, gonna use it up. And then the washi, I don't even count that, man, because it's just so cute that I could use that in April and I'd still love it. Okay, that's not true, but you know what I mean. I really just meant with the stickers from the kit. Now I've continued to add a couple of those decorative stickers or stamps, I'm sorry, from Sweet Stamp Shop because they're just really, really adorable. And I love how because they are small and the lines are very thin and I'm not going to color them in, they don't take a whole lot of visual space. And so they just fill up and just give that really fun theme throughout the week. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my meal planning at the bottom. I'm using this pigment ink from Studio Calico and I'm just going to stamp all the way across the bottom. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching, guys. I really do appreciate you. If you have questions, please leave it in the comment box below, and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thanks so much, guys. Make it a great day.